Welcome to the Potential Difference Research Lab. In this video today, we are going to be collecting some data with regards to the uh, regenerative acceleration e-bike uh, integration project. And if you're not already aware, the uh, EV regenerative acceleration innovation allows electric vehicles to recharge themselves as they drive uh, in regenerative acceleration mode and we're going to be looking at uh, what happens uh, in our e-bike when we're in regenerative acceleration mode and um, also the Regen X quantum motor that uh, we're using in the e-bike to provide um, e-bike acceleration without any um, input to the motor coils. So the Regen X quantum motor coil is the world's first motor coil that performs positive work um, EV acceleration but it doesn't require any electric input power uh, when it's performing positive work and the Regen X generator or EV regenerative acceleration generator is the world's first uh, generator which doesn't require mechanical input power when generating electricity and the uh, Regen X generator or uh, regenerative acceleration generator performs positive work when it's supplying power to the battery meaning that it increases the kinetic energy of the EV rather than decreasing the kinetic energy of the EV. So um, conventional generators that are in electric vehicles right now, they perform negative work um, in which reduces the kinetic energy of the EV and the Regen X regenerative acceleration generator performs positive work. So what we're going to see in, the, in this demo is above uh, 25 kilometers an hour. We're in regenerative acceleration mode where we are recharging the EV's batteries while accelerating the EV. And in, then um, below 25 kilometers an hour, uh, we'll be in regenerative braking mode where uh, the Regen X generator will perform negative work in decelerating the EV when it's recharging the batteries. So the only parameter that's changing with regards to whether or not the Regen X generator performs positive or negative work is the frequency of operation. And uh, that's the only paradigm that will be changing in the in the demo so the first thing we want to look at the first thing we want to establish is um, what's our battery voltage and we're going to look at that right now so just a bit of a lay of land here uh, this is the recharge current that we're going to be delivering from the Regen X generator back to the batteries. It's going to be about uh, 10 amps, 10.4 amps or so. When our um, Regen X coils are engaged, and um, we'll be using two quantum motor coils. Uh, so there's five coils in the prototype. Two of the coils will be operating as quantum motor coils 
and three of the coils will be operating as uh, regenerative acceleration coils. And then this is the battery voltage um, that we want to basically be looking at during the, during the, basically the performance of the, of the e-bike. So I'll turn on the, or actually we can check the battery voltage right now. And currently the battery voltage is 74 volts. Or to be more precise, 73.2 volts. So we want to look at what is our battery voltage after we're done the test. Just moving the camera back so that I can uh, start the system and then I'll move everything back in. So the e-bike has cruise control so once the speed is set then it's pretty much uh, fixed. 